Alright guys, this is my last call of the day. I just want to shoot a quick video about uh, self-contained leaking water. That was a call. Um, I took off the back cover here so I can get back here. And um, I went ahead and I took the back cover. Uh, noticed that the water was overflowing on the condensate pan here. Um, and I went ahead and took this cover off. And look what I see. Pretty burned. I already unplugged it, by the way. See? Unplugged it. So, that's pretty charred up. And I took some paper out of there earlier. Look at that. That got a little crispy. So, it just got a surface mark right here. It's not too bad. The wire above it, still good. It's not burned. No other wires is burned, just this one. My float still works real smooth. No other wires are burned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this back, pull some of this wire forward, and reconnect it back on there. Clean up this and see what happens. Let's do it. Okay, there you go. Went ahead and spliced it, connected it. And by the way, that's as far as it goes down because if you could tell, see how tight that is now? That's pretty hard to get off. See, there's a lip on the each side. It doesn't go down anymore, just to let you guys know in case you're wondering why it's not all the way down. It's not meant to go all the way down. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in and see if we get any amps. Put my amp clamp on here. Put my amp clamp right there. Ready to go. Plug these two in right now. It's gonna be hard to do this with one hand. So I'll plug it in real quick. Okay. Plugged in. Look at that, got my amps. So I had a bad electrical issue with my condensate pan, that's why my pan started overflowing off that overflow switch, or that overflow hole. It started leaking up the sales floor. So now that my heater is working, so it's starting to get hot. I don't know if you see the bubbles moving around in there, I'll take here. Okay, so just to recap on what I did was I called for a water leak. I pulled the back cover off. I went straight for my pan to make sure, and it was full water. So I knew my heater wasn't working. So I opened up the electrical and I found those um, burned wires. So I uh, disconnected my power and stripped my wire, put a new connection, and restarted it. Now I'm pulling 8 amps. So, now, my ears are working. The bubbles are starting to fall around the ear, so we are in good shape. I'm gonna let that steam off. Um, yep, and we're good to go. So, just throw, I thought I'd throw a quick little video together. Um, I know I haven't been producing videos like I said on my last one so I'm trying to get all this little stuff that I usually do and I don't record but I'm gonna decide that I'm just gonna record whatever I service sometimes it's hard to do that but I'll try to do my best so 
Alright guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get my next video. Talk to you guys soon. See you on the next service call.